A Chinese woman arrested at Trump's Mar-a-Lago resort last month, carrying a thumb drive with malicious malware, a laptop, an external hard drive, and four cell phones, remains in jail. Prosecutors say they found multiple electronic devices in her hotel room, including nine USB drives and SIM cards, a signal detector that could seek out and detect hidden cameras, several credit cards in her name, and more than $8,000 in cash. Now, China's foreign ministry spokesperson demanded Yu Jingzong be given adequate rights while in custody. After learning about this incident, the local Chinese consulate had contacted the person involved, and we will provide any necessary consular assistance. The Chinese government has consistently maintained that Chinese citizens overseas should abide by local laws and regulations. Meanwhile, we demand that the U.S. side handle the relevant case in a fair and proper manner and effectively protect the legitimate rights and interests of the Chinese citizen involved. Federal prosecutors continue their investigation, but let's turn now to our legal and media analyst, Lionel, to break all this down. Lionel, how are you doing? Good, 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 good. Fascinated also by this. Good. Well, Yu Jingzong was ordered to remain in jail for another week. At least one prosecutor told the court on Monday that all she does is lies. She's lying to everyone. <laughs> now, one public defender said that there were perhaps some misunderstandings based on the fact that she is not fluent in English. Do you buy that? Uh, no, but 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 then again, but you but you didn't specify. Do I buy that on whose part? On what she's saying or what the prosecutor is saying? On what she's prosecutors, saying. Prosecutors, <laughs> well, uh, it, not having known her, I'm, I'm sure that's a part of it. But a couple of things are so striking to me. First and foremost, I want you to imagine that instead of this being a Chinese uh, defendant, it was a Russian. Now, j just stop for a second and think. A Russian, a Russian national, friends with, notice she's not friends with Xi Jinping, she's just a Chinese traveler, but if it was a Russian who had SIM cards and, and malware and devices breached the president's lair, what do you think the reaction would be on the part of mainstream media here? How would the tenor, how would the focus be different compared to this? It's almost... I don't want to say lackadaisical, but it's it's all it's it's more almost um, bemused, and isn't that interesting? She that sure is a lot of stuff well, that she brought. It is. And so that. And it's funny you mentioned all the stuff she brought because Zhang's public defender is still saying that he's uh, gathering evidence to be able to release her, justify her bail release. Now it's noteworthy in all this that she is resorting to using a public defender. She seems to be somebody who has at least some means. Now this is becoming a major national security issue, right? Indeed. It is not uncommon for a public defender, for a federal public defender to be, to be appointed initially for bond proceedings, appearing before a magistrate. What magistrates do and what courts do is they do two particular things in determining bond. The danger to the public and the likelihood to appear. Now, normally you go through the ties to the community. Does she have any? Um, no. Does she have assets in this country? No. What would be the incentives for her to return? What could the court possibly, possibly do uh, use to ensure this? Now, she's being held, from what I'm reading, on a couple of charges. One, lying to the FBI, lying to federal officials, which seems to be the ubiquitous 18 U.S.C. 1001, which gets everybody from Roger Stone, theoretically, to, mm -hmm. to Martha Stewart. Name it. This is, this is where you just lie. And the second one is breaching an area where she should not be. One could argue, if I had to guess, if there's really nothing, if the government is, is convinced that she's really not, uh, I don't want to say Matahari, but, but, but some super secret uh, 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 spy, they might let her plead to something very simple, dispose of the case, and basically order never to return. Keep all of this, by the way. All of that remains here. Analyze it. What was it? What will be the purpose of this? Because this does not seem to be an espionage case of the first order. But you must. I'll bet you there are some FBI technicians who were saying, I want to see this. Oh, and by the way, did you hear, as did I, somebody took one of these thumb drives, put it into their 
laptop, and all of a sudden it started multiplying and replicating. Well, Who in their right mind would ever do this? Well, the so woman, the that, woman did a, say that she bought tickets to a special event in Mar-a-Lago through a Chinese ad that was promoted by Cindy Young, who is the owner of a Florida massage parlor who's actually re recently uh, been in the news for promoting dubious events at Mar-a-Lago. Now, do you see this as a coincidence or just uh, what's your opinion? There are no such things as coincidences. Now, by the way, what, what you did you ever think in your journalistic career you would ever read a sentence <laughs> like that in a news story? No. That you have you have this furtive massage parlor <laughs> person. She also has to claim where this money came from, and it was you know there, there's also the whole notion of, of of transferring cash. Look, I've got to tell you something. My advice to her would be claim ignorance. You don't know what's going on. You are unaccustomed to what's going on. If you can, cry a lot. Promise never to come back, turn over all of this information, and just be gone. But you have to ask, if she was not a part of something bigger, if she was not a part of some organization, then this means she did this on her own, sua sponte, as we say. On her own, she took it upon herself. And if anything, during the, the allocution portion, when she were to plead, let's say, to a, a reduced charge that could allow this case to be disposed of, I think federal agents would want to know, please tell us, what are you doing here? Do, is there anybody else who's involved with this? And let's talk more about this. Well, there Florida are a lot of, there are a lot of questions that remain that I'm sure will oh, unfold yes. in the coming days, if not weeks. Thank you so much, legal expert, legal analyst, Lionel. Thank you. Hey, YouTube. Thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.